the way. You need a Kleenex all the time to go through them. You would not realize how much junk you fill up your nose all this time. When you start doing the breathing exercise, you're going to blow a lot of uh, junk. Because later on, you will feel that you can take on a lot of oxygen and you couldn't see your nose. Another thing that's important is wearing a belt. You want to put a tight belt around your waist. If you put down a tight belt around your waist, you will notice that as time goes on, you will keep digging holes because your waistline will get smaller and smaller. Now the ideal case will be getting one of these. Okay, and thanks for Al, I got this belt, and I'm going to make the best use of it. I'm going to start out with the four notches. As you can see, this is where I started out. Look at that. I'm going to do it, I'm going to tighten my belt. Put it right here. See, it's all set. So now, let me go back to the first one, balance. That first one, balance. The second one is you want to purify your liver. As you know, all your blood goes through your liver. Why do people have problems with the liver from drinking? Because the alcohol gets in the liver and causes problems. Okay, so same thing the same applies to all the people. You eat the wrong food, you can build up all along, your body, the blood will go through your liver. And what you want to do is purify the liver, get rid of all the junk in your liver. So that when the blood goes through, your liver will be clear, and at the, at the same time, consequently, all your blood will be pure. So, let me show you how to do it. Right hand, open left. Like it's crossing. You bring it up. As you bring it up, you take a deep breath. You hold your breath. Now, that's on top of the beauty through your nose. Keep your mouth closed. Cross your hand. You bend down right there. In the meantime, you're looking down, straight down the ground. With a little bit, you blow like whistle. You can whistle and just whistle. Just keep blowing until you don't have any more left. Okay? Now, if you do it, you will feel that your stomach starts stretching. It's like, it's like your, your belt gets tighter and tighter. Okay? Because you're purifying. It's like going through the liver. You're purifying the liver. Now, let me do it slowly. Right over left. Cross it. Bring it down. Look down. Blow. You don't have any more left. You bend down, right things up the wrong. Remember the first one? Same thing. Take it up, bring up your waist, turn, bend down, balance. Now let me do it a real one. Once you get that done, 
Now you begin to learn things that everything is critical to a walk. I want to start teaching you how to free some key. We call it key. Key is oxygen, but the Chinese are saying it's not oxygen, they say because once you take it in, oxygen, it turns into energy. So I would more like to refer that as energy than just oxygen. Okay, so next one we'll be doing is putting the key on your shoulder. Okay, this point is also very important because your shoulders really control the movement on your upper body. What you do, you put it down, left, right, in front of you. You open the hand, as you open the hand, like that, you take a deep breath. As you take a deep breath, you hold that breath. You bend down, and like splitting, but you're not splitting anything, just releasing the uh, carbon dioxide. But once you take it in, it's carbon dioxide. From then on, you look back up again. You turn to your left. You bring your brain out, your right, you bring it up this way, so I swing. You bring it up, you take a deep breath. You hold that breath, you turn to your right, bring up your left. Take another breath. Now keep that in mind, you're holding those breaths. You're not letting anything out at this time. Do it again. Turn, your left, bring up your right. Under the deep breath. Notice the notice the flow. The left and right hand are coordinated. You go up again, take a deep breath, hold it, deep breath, hold it, deep breath, hold it, six of them, come back. Stand over, let it out. This time you let it out. See your nose. You're balancing. No be it. Now, it will take you probably a week, a month or two just to get three or four in because you probably feel like you're dying because it was impossible for anyone to do this one the first time and be able to take all this breath without letting anything out. I mean, your, your mind won't take it. Okay, but if you go on, your lungs will take on more and more oxygen, and you will be able to do that. Okay, but every breath you turn, you're taking in, you're turning it into key, the energy, and you're putting it to your shoulders. Uh, keep that in mind. You gotta do it every breath as, as strong as the last one. I mean, the last one's gotta be as strong as the first one. That will be the ideal condition. That's what you want to accomplish. Okay, so recognizing one or two, that's what you but keep trying, keep trying, okay? But also the important thing is, make sure you do exactly the way I'm showing you. And the next one, let it out, see you your know, and balance. Because the balance is very important. Because if you take your oxygen the wrong way, it could hurt you. But the balance will clean it for you. That's why every one of them always end up with a balance. Now let me do it to you. From here, Push it backwards. 
As you do that, you're going to get a deep breath. Bring it back. You're still holding that breath now. Now you're coming up. As you come up, you look. You're going to get a deep breath. Hold it. Bring it in. You're still holding that breath. I know it's going to kill you to begin. But you will notice this. Uh, look at me later. I'll show you the real one. You will not hurt you. The last one, both sides. So we are talking about four different directions. The side You take a deep breath. So now you've got all four of them in. You've got four different directions. You bring them back. You push it down. Do you know? Now. Now let me show you.
sentence. Now, let's start getting into a close the state of getting to the real thing. What I mean, the real thing, starting to pour the oxygen and then reduce your mind and use a certain movement, putting the oxygen in wherever you want to go. And as I said, it's over 100 moves all together. So, you know, there's so many parts in your body that require you. Yeah. And if you can learn all those moves, you can actually, in the morning, you can, okay, if you have a sore back because you slept bad last night or because you fell down for some reason, you want to work on that part of the body. Therefore, you will do a whole move, you know, a whole movement that are related to that part. Same as you do have uh, an indigestion, okay, you want to spend time doing a certain move. And also, if you go through some crisis, you know, at work or, or family problems, what have you, that you need to calm down, you know, because you're under a lot of stress. But later on, you will learn some meditation parts that deals with it. Because one of the key elements in the Hengong is to reduce stress. Okay, this one I'm giving you is start, like I said, start getting ready for putting, storing the oxygen. Okay, this one is the, uh, the tiny grid in that you have a diaphragm somewhere here, and you have a little hole, and in order for, for you to put some oxygen, you know, pa putting the oxygen uh, pass through your lungs and get it down to your stomach, you need to build up that little part in your, in your diaphragm to be able to try, uh, transform the energy down, uh, downwards. Okay, so this one's very simple. Put two hands up in front of you. Bring it up. Take a deep breath. Hold it. You come down. Hold your breath at the same time. Come up again. Deep breath. Hold it. Come down. Deep breath. Come down. Push. You know what I mean? Push is exhaling. And then balance. Okay? Now see Expand your stomach, it's like moving your stomach 
outside, or lower, you know, moving, moving them out, moving them out, okay? Now, let's just show you. You can deep breath, you come down, you swallow the saliva, at the same time, thinking with your mind that the energy is going down there, okay? As you come down, expand, okay? Uh, if you do this long enough, your belt will get tighter and tighter, and if you have a cheap belt or something, you will snap it someday. So that's how much power you can put up. You use your stomach muscles. You take deep breath in, you let it out, and use your stomach. Now watch. Okay? After you let it down, get it out. But don't, like I said, don't split anything out. But just let the air out. What, what, I just what we're saying is, we try to get it down there, but in case some of the things that, you know, the oxygen that, some of the oxygen cannot get down there, you want to get rid of it because you don't want to stay in the body because that will turn out to be carbon dioxide. Now let me show you again. Like I said, this one is very important. You're going to have to rely on it, on every one of them from now on. Notice my stomach moves. Watch it again. Okay, this one is called putting your own energy down to your center. We call that center, which means center of energy. Okay, now so far we learned all the ones that purifying and everything. Right now we need to do start getting you in restoring your oxygen different part of your body. Okay, the first one we're gonna do we're gonna do what we're gonna purify. We're gonna put the oxygen back, okay? You know, put a key back, and now we're gonna get rid of whatever junk you have in your stomach. Thank <laughs> you. 
sign it. Get it down there to the headquarters. Bring it up. Keep breathing in. Hold it. As you come down, you push it down. You're pushing the oxygen down to your legs. Your toes are gripping the ground, holding it real tight. If you come down, push it all the way down, almost about four inches left from the from your arm. Now you push it. You push it all out. As you push it out, use your nose and then balance. I think you should get coward. Uh, the next one we want to do is you start doing uh, your gland, your called thyroid gland. If you have problems with it, because people have, you know, uh, when they have cold, 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 and everything, they start right around here. Your glands are very important. So what you want to do is put the key in there. And you want to put the key in to keep the uh, strong neck, basically. Not the external part, not like the football player type muscle. It's the inside, your veins get stronger. The key goes to cleaning up the, the uh, uh, all the junk in there, at the same time putting the oxygen in. Build it up. Very simple. Take a deep breath. Put it down at the headquarters. Split it out a little bit. Put your hand like this. Turn. As you turn, look at my mouth, look at my neck. What you do is you just turn. Like that. See, if you turn, like that. Now, if you do about 30 of them next day, the first time, you get to restore your neck, you know, because you're using muscles that you don't use very often. Okay, look, it's a very good one for you. Turn it. Okay. You turn your mouth. You turn your mouth like that. You move working your neck, your gland, your thyroid gland. After you get done, you bend down, push, and balance. Watch. Well, you look about 24 times.
from you know taking a breath at a time. You try to take in all at one time. In other words, take a deep breath that will last this long. And you won't at the beginning, like I said, here you won't. But you will as you go on. You try to take it six times. From here on, push it out to your nose. Now after you do that, you bring it up. And if you bring it up, you take a deep breath. Now this time is the one breath at a time. The one you did earlier was a constant flow. This one's one breath at a time. Go up, and a deep breath, bring it down, you hold it down, coming up, deep breath, bring it down. Like notice all the fingers, you're tight. You want to build it, you want to put the energy to your fingers. Up, up, ten times. Okay? Now, at the beginning, you put my own do one to this. It's a very, very difficult one. Raise your toes up. Raise your heels up. Okay? 
When you do that, you're thinking all your oxygen, all the heat is going up to your brain. Okay, it's like you're bringing the oxygen up to your brain. Okay, with your mind. Okay, and then you do a balancing. Okay. Take in mind, the oxygen is unlimited out there. You can take in as many as you want. So just keep taking it. You just don't have any more left. Stand it up. Okay, don't cut yourself short. You know, and just thinking, oh, gee, I'll be okay. You know, just, if I don't let it up. No, just keep going, keep going. And I can, I think you can see by looking at my face expression that how much, how hard I'm trying to get as much as I can in my system. Next one. Long one, more complicated. This one is trying to put your key different part of the body. What they like? If you can get your key to your leg, to your arm, to your fingers, it's going through all them, all the every part of your body. Okay, it's like blood going through different part of the body. If you can get the blood down in here, you got to go through your shoulders and, and everything else. Same as you can get the blood down to your legs, standing up. Okay, you have to go through your whole body. Okay, this one's very, very complicated. First, put your right hand facing up, left this, this, facing down. From here, you bring them all up, separate both. Separate them. If you separate them, you take a deep breath. If you take off, bend over, get it down to the dining Come back up. Now you turn this hand around. Open it up, as you open it up, you look up, you take a deep breath, this time you come down, blow it out through your nose. Now come back up again. This time, another deep breath, come down, now you get it down to the dark hand again, okay? Put both hands like this, left, cover, right, turn sideways. And extend both hands. As you extend both hands, look it up. Take a deep breath. Pull the two hands back. As you pull them back, dunk it. As you get it dunk it, let it out to your nose. 
This time, as he let off your nose, you turn around, open it on hand again. From here, you look up again, take a deep breath, come back down, and come back down, turn, you hold it time. turn, extend your arm, blow it through your nose, okay, and come back up, down. Let me do a slow. Up. Flip. Up. In the nose. Up. Deep breath again. Get it down here. Turn. Open it up. Exhale to your nose. Deep breath. Get it back to down here. Hold it. Turn. Extend your arm okay? And if you know, look up, deep breath again, get it down here again. Oh, put it down, down here. Turn around, push it out, see your nose, and down. Okay? Now let's do it for real. Down here. Split it. Suck your stomach again. Put it up to your shoulder. Put it back to the dining again. You throw it up there, put it back down. Third one, you just take take it in again. Bring it up three times. Come down three times, holding your breath all that time. From there on, throw over your lines again. Put it back down. And then push a little bit, get rid of whatever left that you spare here. This one is complicated, let me show you one more time, I'll do it five
Let's do another one for the lake. First, you know, earlier we were talking one already for the lake. Let's do another one. This one is a little bit more advanced. You work on one leg at a time and try to put as much key as you can down to the bottom of your feet so that the whole leg is getting good circulation. Okay. You start out putting all the weight in your right leg and just left second leg or the leg left leg just hang it. And from here on, you take a deep breath. Bring it down, go to the dance. From here, you bring it up, keep healing, but don't let anything out. Hold your breath. If you push it down, you push it down, you're using your mind and putting the key down your leg, but you push it down. Second time, you bring it up again. If you're holding your breath, you know, you have not let anything out. Push it down again. Same thing with your mind, putting the key down. You do it three times. The third time after you push it, and see you've got about four inches left from your from your forearm, push it down and let out to your nose, whatever left. Come back, down, okay? From here on, this time you do the other side. Put all the right, all the weight in the right on your left leg, and the right hand. So if you're building your left leg this time. Deep breath. Get it down here. Inhale to you with your with your nose. Push it down, but don't let anything out. Just use your mind to force things to keep down there. Don't forget, when I say push out, don't be push out to your nose. Just push it down with your hand, with your mind, putting the key down. Bring it up again. Inhale. Hold your breath all this time. Put it down. Bring it up. Put it down until you don't have it. Almost towards the end, four inches left. Push it out this time, the last one, with your nose. Bring back to the Take a little deep breath, as you can. Back to here. 
And then from here, you hold on the front still. This is the same, this is the third breath now. You're gonna deep one. Hold it right there. And you're gonna deep one. Bring it back. From here, push. Let it out through your nose. Back.
good to take deep breath, get it down to the dying bit. Take a deep breath, like the first one, picking up the rock, up to here, from here, you hold your breath, you turn, notice that the fingers are like you're pushing now. As you pull coming down, you're pushing, you're pushing, and you are letting the oxygen out to your mouth. Okay, you just, just blow it out to your mouth. Remember many, many of them are, do you know? This one is for your mouth. You blow it out to your mouth. Deep breath. Down here. Bring it up. Hold it. Blow it all the way down. Push it, push it. It's like you push, you're pushing all the bad air, all the carbon dioxide, what have you, all the bad air out to your system. You blow it, you blow it, you blow it. You blow it, you keep pushing. You can't go down anymore. And keep your, your arms are fully extend. Okay, that means you're blowing everything out from your system. Bring it up again, another deep breath. Okay, hold that breath, turn your hand the second time and push it down. Same thing. Blowing it through your mouth. Six times from then on, down. Okay, 
I think if you're willing to spend some time and get space, you're willing to really make yourself do it. It's really huge to do it. I mentioned before, you learn five, but you learn one move at night. The second night, you learn the second move, but you also practice the first move. Make sure you get it. You build up the next. 
money to get through and find me my money. And the second month, she doesn't find me. And through that month, the second month, she can do it 10 minutes, 15 minutes in the morning, probably be 15 minutes. If there's any days, don't get discouraged. Go back to it. And I think I have shown you enough that really helps every part of your body. Now, although, you know, there are quite a few more left uh, that you can learn, but I'm not sure that you get all of these. And I think, you know, we do it easy now, uh, more detailed enough that you can learn. So, and I want you to uh, just practice if you have any questions. Call me. Uh, keep one thing in mind. You gotta use you. You gotta use everything. You gotta use it's not just cut keep take it in as much as you can. At the same time, you let it out, you let it out, everything out too. In that case, that'll be it.
See you later. 